Sean Diddy Combs' inner circle has remained quiet about his legal woes and allegations of abuse and sex trafficking for a reason. No one is saying anything because they have gone to his parties, a source exclusively reveals in the newest issue of Jaga News, noting that Diddy, 54, can be a very spiteful guy. According to another insider, Diddy put on insane parties, adding, all the big stars went to his parties. And if they were wilding out, taking drugs and participating in orgies they're likely on camera. A third source, meanwhile, claimed that Diddy liked controlling people and making them degrade themselves. Diddy's personal life made headlines when Homeland Security raided his homes in Los Angeles and Miami on March 25, reportedly in connection with a federal sex trafficking investigation. His attorney Aaron Dyer subsequently released a statement about the raid, yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated, the statement read. Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way, Dyer continued this unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. An interview with Usher has since resurfaced where he recalled living with Diddy when he was a teen. It was pretty wild, Usher, 45, said on The Howard Stern Show in 2016. It was crazy. There were very curious things taking place and I didn't necessarily understand it. Point one month before the raids, producer Jones sued Diddy in February, claiming that he was sexually harassed, drugged and threatened by Diddy for more than a year. Jones' lawsuit also accused Diddy of sex trafficking multiple women and noted the use of cameras in multiple homes. In a statement to us at the time, Diddy's lawyer denied the accusations by calling Jones a liar. Thank you. You have successfully subscribed. Subscribe to newsletters. Subscribe by signing up. I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from Jaga News Deal of the Day only 21 today. You can save 73 on these wireless earbuds view deal. Check our latest news in Google News. Follow us. Check our latest news in Apple News. Follow us. You have successfully subscribed. By signing up. I agree to the terms and privacy policy and to receive emails from Jaga News. Check our latest news in Google News. Check our latest news in Apple News. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a 30 million lawsuit, shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday, attorney Sean Hawley said. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. That if you or someone you know is a human trafficking victim, contact the National Human Trafficking Hotline at 1-888-3737888. For more on Diddy's legal issues, watch the video above and pick up the new issue of Jaga News on Stands Now.